Hi guys, John Kay here. Just wanted to show you a short video of what I've been playing with lately. And what I've been playing with is this little guy here which is a, a spark gap valve. So it's it's kind of like a big neon uh, NE2 or something like that where it uh, discharges this cap. So a little, little bit more about the setup. So what I've got here is this is my primary here is a lab power supply and I've just got a cap bank on there to to kind of filter it. It's running this solid state SG circuit that I've got running. It's got four transistors. It's a six wire coil. Uh, one, one wire is used for the trigger. Four wires for each, each four transistors. And then there's another wire which is going to the bridge rectifier down there. Bridge goes to the cap. The positive of the cap follows that yellow wire, goes to the positive of this uh, battery bank, which is uh, two 12 volts in series. And the negative, which is that black wire, comes off the cap, goes in series with the spark gap tube, and then to the negative of the battery. So this is what the, uh, the battery is currently sitting on, which is about 2620 for these so I'm going to switch this on and I'm going to bring it up to about 10 volts you can hear the solar state SG starts firing up and at that voltage just running at 10 volts not sure how this will come out on video but you can see this is discharging that capacitor which is a 330 microfarad 450 volt cap and going into the battery so if I can keep the glare off the, off the screen there you can see that when it discharges if the meter is fast enough to catch it it pops up a couple of hundredths of a volt so not too much charging going on there but more just to show you uh, how this guy works so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the voltage on the power supply to about 24 volts. Oh, and before I do, you'll see what I've got on each side of the spark gap tube is a couple of big neo magnets, south pole on that side, and the other one north pole on that side. And what that's designed to do is to, as Tesla says, to, to quench that spark gap that happens. Okay, not really sure if it's doing anything or not, a bit too early to tell. So anyway, we'll, we'll turn this up to about 24 volts, which basically just charges the cap up quicker. So it's drawing, drawing about 24 volts at about one amp, or thereabouts. You can hear the coil oscillating there and you can now see that this once again I'm not too sure how this will come out on video but this thing is now pulsing every couple of seconds now if we have a look at the the meter you can see he's up to 26.45 already and charging a whole lot better So early days yet, but uh, still playing around with this just to see what's what sort of things it can do. I guess one of the advantages is um, with the with the capacitor discharge, I don't have to have a timing circuit or, or an, a, a neon triggered SCR or transistor five uh, by triple five or a, a pick controller or anything. It just does it. Um, this. This uh, spark gap tube is discharging the capacitor when the capacitor reaches about around about 150 volts. So it'll allow the capacitor to charge up to 150 volts, which then triggers the spark gap tube. Okay, just one more look at the battery. Uh, they're 7 amp hour gel cells, not the best thing to use, but they're kind of, kind of like my lab rats until uh, I get things working and then I, I start working with different batteries. 
so this will charge up fairly quick but watch one last thing I want to show you is you can I don't know if you can see it on the video but this wire this white wire which is going from the negative of the battery bank to the other side of the coil gap um, is just standing there but you might be able to pick up that it's it's moving it's kind of pulsing every time the, the spark gap tube discharges so it's just normal copper wire there's there's no special tricks around there but um, just interesting to see okay so we'll leave you with that I'll let it run for a while and uh, let you know how it all goes cheers thanks for watching bye So there's one more thing I wanted to show you before I, I go. I've, uh, I've just quickly hooked up the scope to scope the battery there. And just having a look at the scope, it's just sitting on ground at the moment, but just to show you where the ground reference point is. Sitting at 20 volts per division, about 20 milliseconds per division. And this is just going to show you, I don't know how well it'll come out on the video, but um, it'll show you how the, the cap's charging up to around about uh, 100 and 150 volts or so and then discharging so it kind of sounds like a bit like a sewing machine but you can see the the cap voltage rise up and then every time that spark gap tube uh, arcs over it's dumping the cap so just wanted to add that also uh, show you the wire again it's a little bit more it's not resting on the bench like it was before so you can see it's kind of wobbling about there and very quickly uh, we're, we're now almost up to 27 volts already so it is it is charging really well although I'm, I'm driving it pretty hard from the from the power supply as well which uh, you know is still still sitting on about 24 volts at just just over one amp okay thanks for watching